Will helicopters deploy SWAT units on rooftops? Let's raise the wanted level and find out. A helicopter shows up immediately. It follows Claude and starts shooting. But it never deploys SWAT units at Claude's location. Let's see what happens in Vice City. On high wanted level, choppers will get to Tommy's location. And unlike GTA 3, They deploy SWAT units. Perfect escape opportunity. What about San Andreas? Will choppers deploy SWAT units on the rooftop? Yes. Perfect. Notice how San Andreas SWAT shoots sideways. In reality, they're just ballers with stolen SWAT uniforms. Time to escape. CJ make the jump? Of course he does. Now watch this. What a bunch of idiots. One last to go. Let's see what happens in GTA 4. Ah! Annihilators are sent after Nico. And they transport SWAT units. Oh, man. But will they deploy them on the rooftop? SWAT units will keep shooting Nico from the chopper. But they never deploy to rooftops. Which is a downgrade from San Andreas. Before we get to GTA 5, 89% of my viewers are not subscribed. Oh, All we had to do was follow the damn channel. DJ. Don't be bothered. Cluster. What about GTA 5? GTA 5 has the most realistic SWAT deployment. Two units are deployed at first. And two more follow shortly after. Another chopper showed up right away. But they had a little surprise this time.
What happens if you punch a SWAT officer in GTA 3? If you punch a regular cop, he's gonna beat you up barehanded. Then proceed to an arrest. What about SWAT officers? SWAT acts like normal cops in GTA 3. They won't use guns or call for backup. Checkmate. Vice City cops will also beat your ass if you punch them. Unlike GTA 3, they'll use their nightsticks. Officer was beating everyone on his path. <laughs> Terrible mistake. <laughs> what about SWAT officers? <laughs> like GTA 3, they will beat you barehanded. <laughs> San Andreas cops act the same way as in Vice City. Ah, screw you, cop. And the SWAT. <laughs> they don't react at all. A cop shows up instead. Regular cops will night. aim at Nico and wait for Move. backup. Move all night. What is she doing? Once backup arrives, the car Nico is arrested. And the SWAT? Let's find out. SWAT and Gops both start shooting Nico from cover like cowards. If you stand still, a cop will approach and arrest Nico. GTA 5 cops are very reactive. They fight back and open fire. What about the SWAT? Perfect. SWAT officers also open fire right away. And they'll chase you until they get your ass. How does the SWAT act during chases? What uses roadblocks to stop you in GTA 3? They'll also try to push you off the road. They're extremely deadly. SWAT also uses roadblocks in Vice City. But for some reason they don't react.
do all roadblocks have the same behavior? Well, yes. These guys are brain dead. What trucks will chase you though? But some officers prefer to chill at the back. Obviously San Andreas has swap roadblocks too, and they're far more deadly. Can we drive past them safely? No. Swat trucks will also chase CJ. San Andreas trucks also contain four ballows in disguise. As you'd expect, SWAT chases you in GTA 42. WTF? They will also set up roadblocks. Their behavior is also more advanced. You can see them ducking or going for cover. And back we go. Can we survive the roadblock again? Barely. Let's hit the stun jump before we explode. Better hit like the Papa Nico. You'll face roadblocks in GTA 5 as well. But these are not swap units. Swap vehicles have swap officers hanging on the side. Officers will open fire while hanging from the vehicle. One last info to end the video. If you block the hanging officer, he teleports to safety.